was to make a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday as you guys saw just by my intro. Today I'm going to be doing a hits and misses, but today I'm just going to be doing foundations and I have quite a bit of foundations. So that is today's category. But I'm just going to begin with the hits and misses of foundation. So the first one is actually a miss and this is the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam Foundation. And this was released a couple of months ago so it's not like incredibly new but it's not really old either. It I just, I don't really like the Dream Nude products from Maybelline, but this one, it's very orange, and I'll show you guys in a minute, but I love the concept of it. I've been eyeing this for a really long time. When I finally got it, I just didn't like it. So the concept is kind of weird. You have to like shake it up, which I really like, and then you have to squirt it on your hand. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit. So it looks like my skin, right? Just wait. Okay, then once I touch it, and I get my fingers all in it and whatnot, it turns completely orange. Like, it's very visible how orange this foundation looks. I'll just kind of blend it in my hand a little bit. And you also use so much, it's impossible to use a very small amount of it. So you can see clearly how orange it's gotten. I hope it's clearly anyway. Um, it's very, very orange, and it, that transfers onto your skin. It doesn't even out with your skin. I know you say don't test foundation on the back of your hand, but if it's this orange on the back of my hand, you can only imagine what it did to my face, which is more pale than my hands. And it's also not very full coverage. Like, it's it's very runny and liquidy. So, this was a big, look, look how orange that is. This was a big miss for me. I do not like this foundation. I would not recommend it. To go along with the whole dream line by Maybelline. This is the Dream Liquid Mousse. This is the same thing. It's more full coverage, so it definitely covers up more. It's almost like clay. I know it says liquid, but I feel it very thick and almost clay-like, so I'm not a fan of this either. I wouldn't recommend this one. And then the last one of the Dream line by Maybelline would be their Dream Matte Mousse, and I really like this for a really long time. And it's not as, it doesn't make you as orange as the other products, even though it looks really orange in the pan. I guess this is like a jar, and the jar doesn't look as orange. But it definitely broke me out to an extreme. When I started using this um, two years ago, and I didn't notice that it broke me out, but I stopped using this, and I stopped breaking out. So I don't really recommend these Dream Nude products. I don't think they are perfect. Next comes the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and this is in the color Ivory, and this matches me very well. It is a pretty full coverage foundation. I would say it's medium to full, but this one is for normal to dry skin, and it also has SPF 15, which is awesome, but the only thing that I have noticed about this is that it has a very distinct smell, and on your face, you can still smell it. Like The smell doesn't go away, which really bothers me. And I can feel it all day long. Like, I I feel, I don't like feeling my makeup on my skin. Like, right now, all the makeup that I'm wearing, I don't feel it at all. It feels like I have no makeup on, which is one of the foundations that I really like right now, which I'll talk about in a minute. But, um, this is a very nice product, except I don't like the feel of it on my skin and the smell of it. But if I want, like, coverage, I will normally gravitate towards this foundation. So I would recommend it. But if you're someone that really hates like strong, potent smells, don't get them. Moving on to my CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation. This is everyone's favorite foundation because I Mac Barbie like introduced it to many people, and it is a fabulous foundation. And this, I just noticed this. It made me very pink looking and orange at the same time, more pink than orange. And yesterday when I was at the store looking for a different shade of this because this might have had pink undertones and I was looking for yellow undertones or a neutral undertone, they didn't have it. They only had a shade lighter than this, which was actually too pale for me. Somehow, I have no idea how, but it was too pale for me. This is 310 Flax and it did make me very, very pink and orange and I couldn't switch out the shades because it would be too light or too dark. If you use it with your hands, it's a really awesome foundation, but if you use it with a brush, it makes me a completely different color. So This is the foundation that I'm currently really liking right now. I'm not going to say loving because I've only used it for a couple of days, but so far I've had no complaints and I really, really like it. This is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation and this is a concept that is really cool. I've always heard about these foundations from like reading the Bobbi Brown books, but I could never Never find any and I finally found one by Milani. I just got at my grocery store. You can also order online and I think it's also sold at Targets and Sally's Beauty Supply if I'm correct. 
And this basically, all that it is, it is a cream makeup. So, see it's a cream. And then when you rub it on your skin, it goes on as a cream. And then in a couple of minutes, I don't know how long it takes, but in a couple of minutes or seconds, I'm not exactly sure, it will turn to a powder. So this is really awesome if you have oily skin or if you're lazy and just don't want to like put on foundation and powder. But the reason why I use this, because I have normal to dry skin, I use this just so that I don't have to put on an extra layer of makeup. It goes on as one thing and then dries as another and it still gives you the coverage of a cream foundation but just sets as a powder. So I really, really, really recommend this product. It is definitely a hit for me. I really like it at the moment. And then my last foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and this was one of the first foundations that I got and for a really long time I didn't like it because I thought it was very orange along with all my other Maybelline foundations. But I started using it back in like October and September and I really have liked it. It's not as orange as I remember it being. If you apply it very lightly, it's not orange at all. And it gives you somewhat medium to full coverage, but I would say on a daily basis, more of like a light to medium coverage. And for me, that's what I need. I just need something that will cover up um, redness and some discoloration. I don't really have acne or anything, but I don't think foundation is meant for acne. It, that's what concealer is for. Uh, foundation is just meant to even out your skin tone, which is what it does for me. So, um, yeah, the only thing that I have noticed with this is it's a little bit hard to blend, but I think if you work kind of fast, like in sections, you can really get it super blendable. So this is a hit for me. That was my foundation review. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what your favorite foundation is and what your least favorite foundation is so that other people can also see it in the comments down below. So if you guys stuck around this whole time, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you all in my next video.